Believe it or not, it's time to start thinking about classes for your sophomore year. In this brief presentation, we will go over the steps for the freshman course registration. Sophomore year, you will only have to take six classes. Yep, that means you get to sleep in for an hour next year. Your sophomore classes will include English, math, a science class, PE or ROTC in health, a literacy class or an elective, and a math support or an elective. Here you can find a list of our example classes for our college prep track. You can see the sophomore level classes are highlighted in green. So our sophomore level recommended classes would be English 2, Physics, Geometry or Advanced Algebra, an elective or math support, PE or ROTC and health, and an elective or literacy. Here you can find an example of our honors track, honors and AP track of classes. So for, the, for students that are on the honors or AP track, we would recommend honors English 2, honors physics, honors geometry or honors advanced algebra, AP European history, which is an elective, PE or ROTC in health, and another elective. This is just an example. Our previous slide is just an example as well. These are not the courses that every student would take. If you would like to know details on all of the classes that we offer, we encourage you to check out our course offering guide. You can find this directly on our website. If you can't find the link, just type in the search bar course offering guide and it should pop up for you. It'll look something like this. All right, when you open it up, you can see there's lots of information here. For example, we have all of our graduation requirements listed here. Here's some college in, uh, entrance requirements there. And if we keep on scrolling, um, it also lists each of our academies, gives you some details on those, and then even gives you some example um, schedules if you choose to go into that academy and also provides some suggested electives. So let's keep on scrolling. I'm gonna click pretty quickly so that we can see the pages that gives us all of the details on the courses that we are choosing. Here you can see this is Applied Life. So the section that each course falls in is found at the top. I'm gonna to keep on scrolling. And I'm gonna to go to Business Education. So for Business Education, for example, Accounting is one of our electives. Here's how you would read this. On the left, you can see the grades that are eligible to take the class. So for example, for accounting, 10th, 11th, and 12th graders are eligible to take the class. Here you can see how many courses the class is. So this is two semesters, which means it'll take up an entire year. Below that, you see the prerequisites. So that's what you would need to take prior to registering for this class. So for accounting, you can see there are no prerequisites. So you can register for that as long as you're a sophomore, junior, or senior. But if we go down to animation and video editing, we see that all grades are eligible to take that. 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th. We see that it's two semesters, but this one does have a prerequisite. They're recommending that you take computer applications one and two before you take animation and video editing. Let's look at one more example over here, which is graphic design. Graphic design, all grades can take it, 9th, 10th, and 11th, and 12th, but what we do notice is that, is that it's only one semester. So in a case like this, we would need another class to add for a second semester in order to have an elective for a full year. An example of a class that many uh, people take is web design, because as you can see here, web design is also only one semester. All right, so make sure when you're registering for electives that you're that it is either two semesters, and if it's not two semesters, make sure you choose two one semester courses. The first step in choosing courses for next year is course recommendation. Course recommendations begin at the end of November. The first step will be done by teachers. At the end of November, they will access the academic planner, which you will find in Infinite Campus. If you go to your Infinite Campus portal and scroll down to academic plan here on the left side and click on that, you will find this here. You can click proceed to go to the next page. 
In the academic planner, here's what you will find. You'll see an example of courses that they're recommending for you for 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th grade. For this year, you only need to focus on the 10th grade classes. So what will happen beginning November 29th is teachers will look at their um, class, their, they'll go in and make recommendations for every teacher in their, every student in their class, I'm sorry. For example, the English teacher will make recommendations for which English class you should take for your sophomore year. The math teacher will make a recommendation for which math class you should take your sophomore year, so on and so forth. Beginning in December, the portal will be opened up to students and students will have the opportunity to go in and state which classes they would like to take. As you can see up here, this is now disabled for students. In December, once it's opened up, in this bar right here, you can actually access every class that is in our course catalog. You can search for courses and select what you would like to take and it'll show up in the appropriate category. Attached to this email, you will also find detailed instructions on how to access and use the academic planner. The last step to this process will be meeting with your counselors in January. So in January, every single student will have the opportunity to sit down with their counselor one-on-one -on -one to discuss the options that were chosen in your academic planner. When you are done choosing your classes in December, there is no need to meet with your counselor about those courses because you will have the opportunity to meet with us in January. If you have questions regarding the academic planner, feel free to reach out to us. You can find our email addresses to your right. However, once again, there's no need to meet with your counselor in December regarding your courses because every student will have the opportunity to meet with their counselor in January. Thanks so much for taking the time to listen to this brief registration process. We will see you all in your advisories.